Whether it's from a cow, a goat, or a camel, milk is tasty and nutritious. But in many parts of Africa, keeping it chilled is a problem. An agricultural engineer, Victor Torres Toledo, from the University of Owenheim, is working on innovative solutions for African smallholders. He teamed up with a German company, Fizan, to develop a solar-powered milk cooling system. This allows a normal refrigerator to produce over 10 kilos of ice a day with the aid of the sun. The ice made by the system is then used to cool and preserve large pails of milk. No electricity grid needed. Sounds fancy, right? Dirk Gutzeit is about to demonstrate the device that he helped design. The engineer has dragged his cooling system out to the company car park to hitch it up to a solar module. The sun is beating down, perfect conditions for making solar-generated ice. The refrigeration unit can produce six to eight kilos of ice. That's enough to keep 30 litres of milk cool for 12 hours. We don't have any more milk going off, and that means up to 30% bigger deliveries to dairies. So the system will pay for itself within two or two and a half years. The price tag for the cooling system, 3,000 euros. That's just a fraction of the cost of automatic milking systems typically used in Germany. The milk can is here for a test run. The company wants to get the opinion of a local agricultural expert. Organic dairy farmer Josef Friedel has agreed to try out the cooling system. Our milk goes straight into the tank and is cooled there. In other countries, it goes in here. Friedel isn't used to this kind of time-consuming and back-breaking work. His farm is equipped with a lot of labor-saving devices. But the farmer can appreciate how the cooling can could work for a smallholder in Africa. The technology is very simple, so there's not a lot that can go wrong. In Germany, we usually have a lot of technology, so a lot can go wrong. And this can hold quite a bit. 30 liters is a fair amount. In Germany, milk output is high, but in Africa, one cow produces just five liters of milk a day. So the 30 liter can suffices for a small herd. After 10 minutes, the three six kilo blocks of ice have cooled down the milk considerably. It's 28 degrees now. A 10 degree reduction in heat is a lot for such a short time. Good news for Tobias Swirner. He's the managing director of Faesan, which developed the system in cooperation with the University of Hohenheim. Up to now, our goal has been to help smallholders with two to three cows in tropical and subtropical regions, because they have the greatest need to cool their milk right after milking. The first pilot trials are taking place in Sidi Bouzid in Tunisia. Ten dairies have been equipped with solar modules and refrigerator boxes produced in southern Germany. The project is being funded with German development aid. We're already conducting a second pilot trial in Kenya, which has a slightly different focus. And we're working on the commercial side of things. We've put together a set, which has an article number, and can be ordered via Faesan. The engineers haven't actually seen the operation on the ground in Kenya firsthand. Look, Dirk, we've got the latest photos from the milk cooling system in Kenya. He cycles to the cow. Right. New challenges require new solutions. The team hopes to refine the cooling equipment based on the outcome of further tests. Prototypes are on their way to Africa, well packed to survive the long journey. Zimbabwe has a serious waste problem. A lot of it ends up blocking the waterways or lying on the roadside. The only rubbish project wants to change that. It teaches 
members of the community innovative ways to transform non-biodegradable waste into like glass bottles, plastics and metal cans into beautiful products that they can sell. Roy Busimi was so inspired, he now makes a living turning trash into toys and furniture while doing his bit for the environment. We visited him at his workshop. Here are some clever ideas for making beautiful things out of trash. There are more than two and a half million tons of waste per year in Zimbabwe. Only 10% of it is recycled or reused. For Roy Bisiwasi, a dump site is a source of free art materials. He and his son Mike collect cans and other trash. They transform them into works of art. And they earn a living with it too. This giraffe sells for 15 euros. Some years ago, Roy had an accident, so he can't work in his old job anymore. Now he supports his six children by selling his artworks made from trash. And he's doing his bit for the environment at the same time. Do you like that? If you are also doing your bit, Tell us about it. Visit our website or send us a tweet. Hashtag doing your bit. We share your stories.